Welcome to Startup Circle. I'm Varsha Meghani. In this episode, we catch up with Joy Sebastian, a little known entrepreneur until about a week ago when his company won the IT Ministry's grand challenge for developing a made in India alternative to Zoom. Take a look. Joy, thanks for joining us. Uh, at the very outset, you know, I have to say I usually use Zoom to do these interviews, but today we're using your product, the V Console. I'm happy to note that. Um, so to jump right in, uh, Joy, you beat 2,000 other applicants, including biggies like HCL and Zoho, um, to develop a made in India video conferencing solution in response to the government's challenge. Uh, tell us what went into making your product, the V Console. I would say. Um... We started in 2009. Uh, actually, the company started as a research and development uh, company in internet communication collaboration, especially in video conferencing. Right. Uh, at that point of time itself, we had some clients uh, to get uh, our help uh, in developing their technology uh, from US and Europe. And we were serving them uh, for last uh, 10 years using our technology. So. Right. Uh, it, it, it seems like a tailor-made for us when the challenge announced because we were into this and we were uh, for a long time and we had expertise in this domain. We know in and out of this technology. So we thought, why should we give a try? So from being an R&D technology company, you're now a product company. Uh, it is coming up uh, in such a way. We were uh, sticking on to R&D because of we don't have uh, any marketing arm in the company. Yeah. And now it is, uh, we need to change. Now we are a product company. Joy, I want to rewind a little bit. Uh, you, you come from a very humble background. Your father was a fisherman, your mother a homemaker. Um, you studied in a Malayalam medium school. Uh, and I understand growing up, you wanted to be a teacher. Um, so, so what led to uh, the switch to entrepreneurship? I am coming from a, a village called Padirapalli in Alapi district. And I am a, from a fisherman uh, family. My father and mother is, uh, uh, let us say, they were illiterate actually. They went to maybe one or uh, first or second standard. That is what they got as education. But they, what they did was uh, they tried to train us very well and give us uh, the possible best education they can provide at that point of time. So mm -hmm. I came into this uh, area um, maybe after my post-graduation computer applications. I joined a company in Kochi. Its name is Avenir Kochi. And uh, they were developing a, in 2000 it was. And they were developing like an audio conferencing platform. It is in 2000 and you knew at that point of time it was dial-up, dial-up connections all over. Then they were dreaming like a project uh, in audio conferencing and data sharing, screen sharing. Mm -hmm. So I got familiar with the technology, familiarized with the technology. And after 2006, that company went into financial troubles and they closed down. Mm -hmm. So uh, their counterpart in USA, uh, there was a company in USA which is using their uh, services from Kochi. And they came to me and uh, told me to start a company for developing the same kind of technology. That is how I, I became an entrepreneur. Coming back to the V console, uh, Joy, what would you say is the USP of the product compared to other video conferencing solutions out there? And can you really take on the likes of Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, etc.? Video conferencing, uh, even in global arena, is still in uh, uh, primary stages and people are started uh, experiencing it now. And you know, uh, nobody is providing HD video conferencing right now. They are uh, running on a maybe uh, 240p video. Everyone is providing. And we are trying to give a uh, better solution. Better solution in the sense, uh, a good video quality and good uh, audio quality. And of course, that is based on a technology that is Zoom is providing on an enterprise package. Yes. There are two different technologies now uh, on the uh, video conferencing domain. One is called uh, the forwarding uh, technology. Video will be forwarded to all the participants without any changes. And uh, another technology is the mixing mode technology. That means video will get mixed on the server and given as a single stream. So just to be clear, instead of each participant streaming a video, you all kind of merge the video and create a single stream. 
so that reduces the bandwidth and the data usage if you are on one to one call like uh, we doing right now or you are in a 50 participant meeting the same video band uh, same bandwidth will be used in our case okay Okay. Because you are getting single stream of uh, video. So it really is a solution that caters to India's uh, unique challenges in terms of patchy internet connections. Uh, that is what we meant actually. So Joy, given this superior technology, um, what will be your pricing plans? Is this something you'll roll out for free to begin with and then later start charging customers for? The mixing mode technology is a bit quite expensive. That is how uh, Zoom is also providing this technology on their enterprise pack. Yeah. That is coming with a $50 kind of stuff. Yeah. We are all using the free free of Zoom or uh, the uh, $10 or $15, $15 pack of Zoom being used. Yeah. That is uh, uh, using a technology called the forwarding. Independent yeah. videos are coming to independent uh, independent streams to you right now on Zoom. And Google Meet is using the same technology, but we uh, we selected the other way. There are multiple reasons why we selected that. Mm -hmm. uh, government and other organizations, enterprises already uh, invested um, millions of dollars into uh, the legacy video conferencing devices from Polycom and Cisco and LifeSite. Mm -hmm. Those kind of companies are selling a lot of video conferencing specific devices to government mm -hmm. and all. In this technology, we can accommodate those devices too. That means government is not wasting any money. They all invested by investing a new technology component. We support all the spectrum of video conferencing devices available in the market right now, along with the web browsers, mobile PCs, and such kind of new modern era video conferencing equipments, what we are using right now. So pricing will be on a bit high. And we will be giving a uh, free version maybe uh, to taste the uh, video conferencing and then we will be starting charging but uh, it cannot be a $15 thing because the technology is different. I am expecting enterprises will come after us because we have a very good on-premise model which helps them to support their data secure and everything will be in-house. Okay. completely in-house like uh, government of india what government of india doing right now using our technology they yeah. are providing their own cloud and we will be providing the software and they will be using it as their own solution that kind of a business model we are planning for a long term presently the solution is only available to the government um, when do you plan to roll this out to the b2b segment as well as b2c customers b2b is ready and uh, so on the public uh, domain I think we need a good infrastructure to support it. And yeah. that needs some investment. Yeah. So yeah. our kind of uh, company cannot afford that. So are you presently in the market looking to raise funds? We are looking for some good opportunities right now. Right. Uh, right. Uh, some of the guys already, uh, after this uh, award uh, being announced, a lot of guys are contacting me. So okay. I, am, I am a uh, watching uh, yeah. how it goes. So Joy, as you now grow and scale the platform, what are the challenges you foresee? One is the infrastructure. That is a very big challenge. But our solution now developed for the India Innovation Challenge is infinitely scalable because it's a pure software-based solution. The bandwidth requirement on the server side is a, will be a challenge because uh, if we think about uh, 1 lakh customers uh, running their video conference on a particular uh, cloud or something like that, their pipe cannot their data pipes cannot handle this right now so that kind of challenges we are discussing with the multiple cloud service providers how they can handle it on the software yeah. side i am very comfortable because it is a multi-tenant scalable solution we are open to service providers who are looking for uh, this kind of service to be given so we can provide the technology they can run the show that is also open and what are the revenue projections you are looking at we were making, uh, maybe our R&D were making last year 1.5 million, but uh, uh, that is not the stake I am seeing right now by going into the market right away. Right. So right. I am looking for some uh, helping, uh, getting help from some consultant to evaluate us uh, in a short term so that we can talk to 
potential investors we can talk to potential uh, clients those all the steps we are working out right now finally joy um, you know i read that you um, mentor students at a local library in your free time you take classes in palliative care uh, at local panchayats um, is this something you will continue going forward given your increased workload considering the workload uh, yeah i am a bit uh, uh, getting tired right now uh, by getting the calls uh, answering the clients and me attending the meetings so yeah. i'm getting relaxed from my so work by getting involved into that so i don't want to change that anyway i will uh, spare some time for that even though i am getting more and more busy at least 2 3 hours a week i will spend on that 